Let's continue the jungle terrain by adding some palm trees. Let's do this. Welcome to another Crafty Thursday. I'm Frankie and this week we'll be working on some palm trees that I order from Amazon. Since I have less time to craft now, I have to look at my time as my most valuable resource. So when I order these from Amazon, I figure I can make them look amazing by just modifying versus starting them from scratch. Let me show you how I made these look the way they do by just using a few crafting tricks. But before we hit the table, if you like what I'm doing, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now let's actually hit the table. You can clean the mold lines up a bit if you want. Me? I did about five of them and said, nah, I ain't got time for this. Let me get to the spicy steps. First of all, we need to get all the green tops off. I keep myself organized since there are about four different sizes for the palm trees. I need to get this done quick, so I set myself up with a leftover piece from the temple build. I pin the palm trees in a line. I go ahead and spray paint it black. I run up on them with a light khaki color. Just make sure to get a good coverage on both sides and in between. I'll be adding shadows with the washes, so I make sure to add two layers of this color at this stage. Just to make sure that the black primer is not coming through the khaki color. Make sure to do the tops with the same color as well. The coconut will just be painted with a light lively green. Let's get these done quick, I gotta be at work in 10. Adding the wash is where we finesse some of the detail into this palm trees. This is just a homemade dark brown wash. If the paint is pulling on unnatural places, just pass the brush through it again. I'm gonna let this dry while I go to work. I get back from work after a 10 hour shift and all I was thinking about was getting these done for the temple video. I quickly set myself up to dry brush the palm trees after the wash dried. Dry brushing results deeply depend on using the right brush. I start by adding a dry brush of the original khaki color, but then I do a mix of that light green from the coconuts and that khaki color. I feel like this helps it look more alive. I start to put the leaves back on and with the same color I dry brush all the leaves. There is enough texture on these leaves to make a dynamic contrast between the two greens. Detail I feel I would have been lacking if I made these from scratch. For the bases, I use a material that I've been meaning to use for a while. This will be the first time in the channel that I use MDF. I didn't realize it was so cheap. A 2x2 board was about $2 at my local Home Depot. Local Home Depot, that sounds weird to say. I had a Home Depot store, you know what I'm saying. I cut one of the boards up in random shapes and squares. Then I round them off by sanding them. This was all done with power tools. If you don't have access to these, check out the Rot Cave Terrain. In that video, I talk about how to make bases with foam boards. It's just a bit harder and you risk warping it if you don't do it right. Let's start drilling where we want to place our palm trees. I don't want to overcrowd the bases. I opt to only place four or five palm trees to each vase. 
I have to clip some of the palm trees because they are too long. I add hat glue and pin them. I do this to all the other palm trees. Let's add a bit of water to get the PVA glue to really grip the board. And then my secret weapon for this build, oats. I want to make the bases look like there is a lot of leaves on the ground. Allow that to dry and then add another layer of PVA glue over the oats to really solidify them. I overdo it on this one by also adding the Mod Podge mix to primer it. And like always, you know I always dry brush white before I add my colors. I add what I think is the perfect green. It's muddier and darker than the green from the palm trees. I start to dry brush the crap out of these with the coconut green from earlier. I don't dry brush where I think the palm trees are casting a shadow. This gives a nice illusion. I also make sure to add a lighter green to the edges of the bases, reinforcing that sunny illusion. Also, adding the wash where the palm trees could cast a shadow go a long way. I want to mimic the variety of the colors from the temple build onto the ground around it. This time using leaves instead of stones. I'll paint some leaves in different stages of decomposition. I also make sure to use a reddish brown that is close to the red on the temple. Little details like this make it easier for you to set up modular pieces and make them look like they were meant to be part of a diorama. Let's get down that brown on the ground. We will add another wash. And let's finish it off by adding some light browns by dry brushing them. And just like that, you got some nice looking palm trees. I know the temple we crafted earlier looked good, but it wouldn't look as good if it didn't have the right scattered terrain to make it feel like it's an actual part of the scene. I might have less time to craft now, but I make sure to squeeze whatever time I have free to make sure that I still grow the channel. I was working on so many things at the same time, I felt like I was on a roll. Let's keep it going. And if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And like always, I wanna thank my patrons, you the best, they make this channel a possibility. Thank you so much for all you do. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.